Hello again! Hi, welcome back. Um, thanks for clicking this video and if you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you will get notified when I upload new videos. So today's video is going to be all my skincare favorites from 2017 and I already did a makeup favorites from 2017 so I'm going to link that down below. You know I'm a skincare junkie so there's just no way that I couldn't like there's just no way that I couldn't there's just no way that I wouldn't include like all my stuff because I did use a lot of stuff and I I do use a lot of skincare usually just because I believe that um, skincare is really really important in terms of like preserving and self-care and aging and everything and um, just feeling your best I feel like if you have good skin um, it really helps self your self-esteem and it does for me too. I tend to like low fragrance products so a lot of these products are very low in fragrance and uh, if they do have fragrance it's usually natural fragrance. I can't say that all of these products are fragrance free or alcohol free but most of the most of the products that I use are usually alcohol free and artificial fragrance free. With that being said I'm gonna jump into it. My skin is also very acne prone and I feel like with these products, it really did calm my acne down from before. Um, this is a picture of my skin before. And that was a couple years ago that um, when I was just using anything that people told me to use in terms of like media and advertisements and like YouTubers sometimes. Um, but these are my personal products that I sort of curated myself in terms of helping my skin to be where it is today. Yeah, the first uh, oil cleanser that I really like this year and it I've been using it a lot is this DHC um, Deep Cleansing Oil. It's a very, very nice cleansing oil. It takes off all the waterproof stuff, everything comes off and it's just a very nice feeling. For your own knowledge, I think it's great to be an educated consumer. Um, but yeah, if I went through all the ingredients for all these products, it would take definitely too long. Uh, but I might do a separate video breaking down why I like certain products. But this one takes off all makeup, emulsifies well, doesn't sting my eyes, and it's fragrance free. So really, really solid cleansing oil. I really recommend this for literally every skin type. Cleansing oils are just great to remove skin, uh, like sunscreen and makeup, so you really need that step. Next up, we have cleansers. The first one that I like is this Etude House Sunjung Peach 6.5 Wood Cleanser. This is from their Sensitive Skin line from Etude House, and um, it works really, really well. It's really mild, again, fragrance free, and very, very simple. Um, packaging reminds me of La Roche Posay. Uh, this one is Fairly inexpensive and also it just works as a cleanser, doesn't irritate my skin. The next one is by Simple. This is, I got this at the drugstore. It is the Simple Sensi uh, Foaming Cleanser. It is um, a fragrance-free fragrance cleanser and uh, no artificial perfume or dyes. And um, yeah, it's just really simple, really inexpensive and easy to use. And the, the thing I like about these two cleansers is that they're both like foam applicators, so you don't really have to like set it up and all that. So it's really, really simple, very easy, straight to the point, very effective, yet not drying cleansers. Because it is, it comes out in a foam, uh, I use it with my Clarisonic Mia 2, and this tool has really changed my skin just because um, people think it's like a spinning tool, but the Clarisonic actually oscillates. So it is like the technology of the toothbrushes. So it goes like back and forth like a tiny bit and then it pushes water. Um, it's actually the hydro, like the water being against the skin that really unclogs the pores and also like sort of exfoliates. Um, it also really, really enhances circulation so you get a very brightened effect. One thing great about the Clarisonic also, there are studies that are done that says it absorbs um, I guess how many percent of vitamin C more after you use a Clarisonic and I really believe that just because it is a mild exfoliator and it also like sort of invigorates the skin in my opinion. When I use it, my skin just looks really bright the next day. So I feel like this is a really, really good investment. I know it's not the most like affordable or it's not the cheapest item out there but you only need to buy it once, you know, if you get take good care of it. It's, uh, it charges magnetic, it's waterproof, and it's just really, really nice on the skin. 
I use a deep pore cleansing brush. There's a sensitive one. You, if you're starting out, you should try the sensitive one first. But I use a deep pore one because I've been using it for years already. I typically don't really use like scrubs. I already use a Clarisonic, so I don't really use like grainy scrubs. Uh, I don't have an issue with it. I just don't gravitate towards it. Um, I use this gommage. It's like a it sort of loosens up uh, skin plugs and dead skin. I know a lot of people say it is the product itself that pills up, but actually if you use it again on a place that's already been exfoliated, you'll notice that there's very little product left. So I really believe that it is product taking off like, like dead skin and um, just helping the skin regenerate and it's just a really really satisfying feeling it's really inexpensive as well and if anybody that's used this will will back me up on this when after you use it your skin feels baby soft and it just feels really really nice and I feel like after I use something like this my skincare just absorbs better after next up is acid toning so I use two kinds of toners the first one is in acid toner and the second one is um, a sort of um, like a hydrating nutrient toner. So the first to acid toner is just to make the skin more acidic and also exfoliate a little bit. I don't like I talk when I talk about exfoliating, really listen to what your skin needs. I don't do all these steps every day, but when I do like I rotate them. So I feel like that's the best way you can get out of your skincare is just to try to rotate to see how your skin deals with things. The first one that I like is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Serum. And I changed the cap to a, a cap that can pour it out. It's usually like a, just a screw cap that pours it out. So I don't like that. So I change it to a flip top cap. Um, yeah, this one I apply on a cotton pad and I just smooth over the skin. I don't rub it into the skin. I just like gently smooth it over. And then it just helps it's 70% glycolic acid, so it just helps with exfoliation and just like renewing the skin. And another one that I like is by Wish Trend. This is the Mandelic Acid 5% Skin Prep Water. It is a Mandelic Acid 5%. Mandelic Acid is derived from almonds, I think. What it does, it just brightens up the skin and provides gentle exfoliation. So I find that that toner really does help brighten up my skin and when I don't use it, it just looks a little bit more dull. I only use acid toning at night. That's one thing I wanna uh, make obvious, that I don't use acid toners in the daytime. In the daytime, I use more like nutrient toners. Um, so let's get into that. The first one that I have is the ACOL 5.5. 5.5 uh, licorice pH balancing cleansing toner. So you could use this as a cleansing water too, but uh, with my regimen, I don't think I use this as a cleansing water. I honestly just put it in my hand and just pat it in my skin. This one does have a herbal scent. I think it's bergamot scent, bergamot, bergamot. Um, it's actually really calming scent and not uh, very like uh, uh, intrusive. Is that the word? It doesn't like sting my ears or my eyes or like it doesn't turn me off. So it's not like a powdery florally scent. It's a very herbal, natural smelling thing. And licorice is really, really great for lightening hyperpigmentation marks from acne. That's why I use this. I really like this toner. And these toners I'm gonna mention are, I use it with my hands. The next one is the Miracle Water from It Cosmetics. And I actually just tried this this whole of this month. Um, I know this is supposed to be a 2017 video, but I just thought I'd include it as well just because I'm already talking about toners. Um, I really like this toner. It has a lot, a lot, a lot of beneficial ingredients in here, a lot of antioxidants, and also I think it has retinol as well. So this is like an all-in-one toner. It's hydrating, It's it makes your skin glow, it's exfoliating, and also it has retinol. So this is an all-in-one toner. It's a very generous size, as you can tell. So yeah, I really like this one. Next is the most hydrating toner, I feel like. It just is the nicest hydrating toner. It just makes your skin look really, really supple. And uh, on days that, for like winter days and nighttime, you really want something that is gonna pull in moisture for the skin. And I feel that with this uh, Hada Labo Goku Jun, um, Goku Jun Hydrating Lotion. And it is a very viscous, sort of hyaluronic acid based 
lotion, which you know hyaluronic acid pulls in moisture for the skin. This one is fragrance free and also dye free, and it's just a really nice toner to use at night. No, the next morning, like you feel, it feels like you've used a sheet mask, really without using a, um, a sheet mask. So I really like this one, I just pat it into the skin. Um, I don't let it absorb completely actually. When it's still sort of tacky, I apply a mask, uh, a cream on top because it's just so nice and moisturizing. So After I'm done with my toners, I go in with my serum. Um, why I go in with my serum after is just because after your skin is softened, think about it as like a dry sponge. A dry sponge doesn't really absorb anything when you put something on top of it, but after softening your skin with the toner, the serum actually goes in deeper, and that's what I believe in my skincare. So I feel like toners really do help the serum penetrate deeper. So one breakout serum that I really, really like, like it's just the best serum that I've used, is the Pure Vitamin C 21.5 Advanced Serum by Wish Trend. It is a 21.5 vitamin C serum. It's a really strong serum. It really brightens the skin and it doesn't oxidize as fast and it's not sticky at all. It's very liquidy and watery and absorbs right away. I use this day and night because it's so lightweight and it just helps my hyperpigmentation go away so much quicker. Really nothing bad to say about this serum other than you want to keep it in a dark area just like any other vitamin C serum. It does oxidize eventually but it's really potent and it works really well. So, yeah, uh, if I have a breakout, I swear when I apply this, in a couple of days, it does lighten up so much. Next serum I have is sort of like an all-around hydrating, anti-aging, and also brightening serum. So this serum is just great for everybody to sort of like maintain their skin and also sort of combat anti-aging because it is an anti-aging serum. This one is a Misha Time Revolution Night Repair Bora Bit Ampule. I've used this for years now and um, it's just a really good all-around serum like I said. Very very mild yet effective just because I think there's a lot of retinol in here so if you are sensitive to that you want to watch out but overall I haven't noticed anything like anything bad about this serum to be honest like it's just really good all around and you'll notice the next day after you use this it's like more plump and more full so yeah and uh, your skin just looks really nice after using this next up I have this snail bee high content essence so I don't know where to categorize this because I use this after the serum and it's just a clear gel type of essence that has a lot a lot a lot of beneficial ingredients and antioxidants so it's also really inexpensive it, I think it's only like ten dollars or something for the amount of like good ingredients in here it's really really crazy so I've been using this day and night and it just provides a slight boost of moisture it calms my skin down and it it just like it's just nice like it's just so easy to use day and night so I use this if I'm lazy I just use this and the moisturizer at night or in the daytime I use this under sunscreen because the ingredients are amazing for the price. So I have Whew, okay, so I hope that wasn't too quick. Um, I really tried to speed it up just because, you know, if you want to go into detail with this product, you really can look up reviews online on, or on Reddit because I, if I went into each single product, it would really be too long. So yeah, I'm going to go in with moisturizers real quick. The moisturizer that I really really like, where is it? Oh, okay, it's right here. So there, the first moisturizer that I like is like an all-around simple moisturizer. You can use it day and night under sunscreen, under your sleeping pack. Um, sorry, there's something on my eye. I think it's my cat hair. This is the Sunjung, the same line as the cleanser from Etude House for sensitive skin. Um, it's fragrance-free. It's really really mild, and also it just absorbs well. You can use it under makeup, you can use it under sunscreen. It doesn't irritate your skin. Actually, it does calm your skin actually because it has panthenol in there. Yeah, I just think this is a good all-around cream that everybody should have just in case they're dry anytime. So really, really great. Next moisturizer I like is this PHA Moisture Renewal Power Cream. This one's by Coast RX. You already know I like Coast RX products. This one has PHA, so it provides mild exfoliation. I only use this as nighttime because it's a, a little bit heavier. It's a more emollient feeling, but it actually does help hydrate and also exfoliate the skin. 
It's a very, very easy to use serum, um, cream. The only thing I don't like is that it's in a jar, but other than that, it's a very solid cream. It just makes your skin look really supple and nice in the morning. Also fragrance-free and yeah, this is a staple I've used. All right, next up we have sleeping packs. And this is for nighttime use. I only use these products at night. And it is very, very simple. I like the Coast RX sleeping packs. This is the honey mask and this is the rice mask. The honey one comes up more like a gel and then it sort of forms a protective barrier on your skin. And honey is an antibacterial property, so I really recommend this for people with more acne skin and afraid of people that are afraid of more like heavy cream type texture should go for this one. An overnight nourishing rice one is a little bit more moisturizing. So it's better for people with drier skin and it's just really, really uh, good at soothing the skin. So I really like this. Um, I use this every night. I have a couple of them. But uh, yeah, I would recommend this one for people in more humid weather and this one more people in more dry weather just because of how emollient and how effective this is. But they're both they're both pretty solid products and I haven't had any bad experience with them at all. And they both don't smell of anything. They're fragrance, fragrance free. For sunscreen, I only have one sunscreen that I feel like was the best of 2017 and I've used this every day and it's pretty much gone. This is the Metacasticide Sunscreen by Apu. It is a physical sunscreen. It's SPF 39 PA++. It is a very, very nice sunscreen. It is very, very um, smooth to spread. So um, the formula is just very, very refined. I think it's a very nice formula. Makeup glides on top of it really nicely. It doesn't leave too bad of a white cast, but if you're a darker skin tone, I would definitely try it out first if you can or look on reviews because I haven't really. But I find that if I work it into the skin, it doesn't leave a white cast for me. And it's just really, really nice. It's like the best sunscreen I've used in 2017, actually. So I really like it. It doesn't break me out at all. But then also I use a cleansing oil to remove it. But this has not given me any breakouts. I brought it to Hong Kong. I use it here. I'm probably going to bring it to Korea next month. Um, so, I mean this month. I'm going this month. So, yeah. Really, really great. It's formulated with metacasticide and centella asiatica which you know helps heal breakouts and heal burned skin and scars so this one really helps just actually calm the skin even more the best must have all right moving on is spot treatments so spot treatments i use it at nighttime only is for like spots or dark spots the first one is the centella blemish cream by coast rx i used to use it all over it and then i hated it now I use it as a spot treatment because you guys comment down below and told me that I was supposed to use a spot treatment. And after I've done that, I really love this. It really works. It calms the spots without drying it, over drying stuff. Just very solid product from cal for calming down like even razor burns or sunburns and stuff. So I really recommend this one. Next up, we have the vitamin C spot treatment by Paula's Choice. And this is a very strong vitamin C serum. It's 25% vitamin C and it's sort of like a paste texture so it stays wherever you place it. Um, I usually use it around hyperpigmentation marks like after the acne is healed. So I would use this one on active acne and this one I would use it when the acne is sort of like dead and then it leaves a mark. Then I would go in with this. But they're both very very potent products and very useful for emergencies. We just have a few more and we're done. So for lip masks, I really like this water blending lip mask by, who is this by? By Nuni. And it's actually like a balm. So it's solid at room temperature. I use this on my cuticles and also my lips. It's just like a balm to oil texture. Really great for travel because it is solid. And um, this is the one I like actually. Just, it's really nice. I cannot finish without sort of telling you what cushion I like because I feel like sometimes cushions are part of skincare as well and I've been loving this Tiger Sika cushion by It's Skin. I'm in the shade 20 number two and it fits me perfectly um, if, if you can fit the shade because I think I only have two shades. If you do fit the shade, this is a beautiful cushion um, formulated with Centella Asiatica. 
so it just heals the skin. I feel like it helps my breakouts as I'm wearing it and doesn't worsen any acne. So that's already a plus when you're applying like foundation every day. Might as well go with something that actually heals your acne instead of making it worse. So I really rec recommend this. It also has SPF 50 plus, so that's great. Really, really nice cushion. For sheet mask, I have two sheet masks that I like. The first one I like is the ooh, My Beauty Diary Squalene sheet mask. This one is a very moisturizing sheet mask. It has squalene in it, and um, it's just really inexpensive, and I use this probably three times a week. Really nice sheet mask, and you know, very simple. Next, I have this jelly mask. It is the Deep Sea Whitening Mask by Mykonos, and it's a um, very interesting texture. It's almost like a jelly, so when you apply the serum, it's like very thick and viscous, which I like, and it doesn't dry out. So you can like mo deeply moisturize your skin, and it comes with a lot of um, a lot of serum. So really when it starts drying out, you can reapply it and apply it on the neck, reapply it and apply it on the neck. So this is really the best, probably the best sheet mask I've used. So I really like this one and the My Beauty Diary because I feel like they're very greatly priced for what they are. Um, the, the, the results that deliver are just pretty amazing. And I want to introduce you a tool here. It is like a beauty tool. Um, it's like a galvanic tool that sort of stimulates um, stimulates circulation and also just helps your skincare products absorb better. There are two settings. There is a hot setting and a cold setting. The hot setting I apply it when I'm putting on my serum or my mask and then eventually when I want everything to cool down and sort of make my pores tighter and also deep bloat, I use the cold setting. So it's really, really simple, really inexpensive for like a home treatment. Um, it just helps circulation really. So I just go over whenever I apply my skincare and it works really, really well. So far I really like it and it helps. I feel like it does brighten up my complexion without having to go to, I don't know, say the derm or something or facial. Yeah, so these are my favorite products uh, for skincare in 2017. I'm sure a lot of them will follow me into 2018 and I'm gonna continue using them. Very, very simple. I hope it wasn't too overwhelming. Obviously, you don't have to get all the products. Like, just get whatever you need and just try them out. If you like them, then you can try more. So skincare is all about what works for your skin. If it didn't work for your skin, I would like to know why. Can you comment down below? And if it does, I would like to, you to let me know also. Then I can like continue um, telling people how great these products are. Um, it's really, really great now that we have the internet to sort of tell you what products work for different people. Because I feel like a long time ago, it was all about the ads, like proactive or whatever, like that, I mean, it's just basically, you really couldn't know the reviews unless you tried them yourself. And these days, you have me, you have people on Reddit um, review products for you. So really make use of those resources and ingredient lists and everything to make your decision. But I really hope these products work for you. They really, really work for me and really help transform my skin. Uh, my skin before was <laughs> really really bad from acne and then it went to an okay phase and now my skin is like at a phase that I'm quite happy with um, It's because I did put a lot of effort into your skin like skincare like lifestyle and fitness and everything is like a journey and it's also effort so whatever you put into your skin you will see the results for so thank you so much for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification button for future videos and comment one of the your favorite product down below that so I can try it out in the future if you want to. Um, I'm always open to reviewing new products and trying out new products. So please let me know down below. And thank you so much for watching guys. You guys are the best. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.